Hey everyone, here with HBETF. This is a food coat list and up against wizard. Hmm. So we, have, we can either leave HQ open or we can ice ice credit. Ice ice credit's okay. It's going to delay our Uh, Adonis by a turn, but it will mean we can play the Breaker Bay and the Adonis and the Ice on turn two and feel pretty good about it. Oh, he's going to open with Wild Side. Okay. So there's a bunch of different wizard decks you can play these days. This showed up just, just an action too late to be amazing. Uh, do we want to play it now? Or do we want to start our own economy? I think I'm going to go with our own economy. And play this the turn after. Hopefully he doesn't just put like chronotype down right now. He only has three creds, so I don't know if he would. Be very happy to play this next turn if he doesn't install resource. Ah <laughs> Oh well, at least we're getting free money off our Adonis campaign, which is pretty important. And Double Bastion's actually pretty good. I just don't want to lose this Adonis at any time for him just like coming here with a Faust. It's expensive, but it does the job. Uh, doesn't want to run there. Wants to run here. Well, it's gonna hurt because this is the new the new hotness, Fairchild 3. What do you do against Fairchild 3? You spend your entire turn clicking it, or you basically get wrecked for five cards. Dropping his Parasite, ouch. And the spoon, that's the spoon he used to kill this Fairchild, so this is a total blowout right now. Whew. Fairchild's good. If you need any more evidence than that, this is what just happened. He just lost his entire hand and his daily casts for a single access. And what do we got? Another scarcity. Cool. Draw. That's not really what I want. What about this one? That's pretty good. It's another copy of the best dice ever. Archives, HQ. Let's go. I think it's archives. He's gonna have suckers. We are risking this food, but I think we can jam it right after this Adonis finishes and be okay. Oh, really? He's gonna spoon it. Hit a second spooned. Well, rip Fairchild. It's still a pretty good trade, I think, but we spent two entire turns to kill this. But now we need another ice. Hmm. That'll do. So now do we jam food or we jam beta test and, and run it to try to get some free ice? We do have 18 ice, so beta tests in this deck are usually pretty sweet. They gave him the food scored first. Oh yeah, this is gonna be good. Rumil beats us. I think everything else we're fine. Losing the side game is also bad, but <laughs> we can win a side game, right? Let's make him pay cards here. We can still afford to res these. Oh, goodbye to my current. Oh well, and there comes the resources. They were waiting, right? Nonetheless, I, we did get a nice free beta test. Come on. Oh, it's a good one. We got Magna, we got Turing. Probably all on server one, right? Or you put one in R&D.
I think we gotta put one in R&D. Otherwise he can medium dig us while we're still thinking about what else is happening. Uh, let's not ice, or let's not res HQ at all. I'm gonna play that other current. We probably missed it, but he has liberated, I assume. Maybe he has more same old things. So what do we think about advance, advance credit? Putting us on nine. It's kind of bad, it's too expensive, I think. I wanna draw an economy card instead. Okay, that's all right, ish. Between these two, probably the Enigma is okay. I don't know if he's got Yogg. He has Faust and David and Wildside, he probably doesn't have a Yogg. Yep, yeah, gotta tax him here. I don't know if we could even score this food in a tummy manner, if we should just run the Adonis in this server for $12. If he leaves our Jackson, Probably be right over the food. No, he's gonna run it. Okay. Is he actually been good? He's on Faust, so it could be good. It's not good against like contract decks. We have a lot of ice right now. I'm gonna hope we're not gonna run out. Hmm. Man, I'm feeling really poor. And uncomfortable scoring this food. I think we're gonna write it over. Which feels weird, but we gotta ramp our money up as fast as possible. We do have a CVS, which will help us a lot against these suckers. We can maybe get a very timely CVS later in this game. So he's on the ice destruction play. That's, that's fine. We've got a lot of ice to replace it with, as well as some ice that can't be trashed. So I think we'll be all right for the time being. He doesn't have the medium down, which is the main thing for us. So he trashed both strikes. I'm surprised he didn't want to get rid of the current because it would have been pretty good. Maybe he's a few people who just archived and play it again. Maybe that's his idea. Oh, hedge fund, that's perfect. Seventeen credits. We gotta guard R and D, right? Probably twice. I'm assuming he doesn't have Yogg. If he has Yogg, we're going to get wrecked, but he can't reasonably have it with what he has. Okay, so had we scored the food early, we would have been regretting it anyway at the turn table. There's so many possible consoles for Wizard now. It's kind of interesting.
Nothing much to see here though. Yeah, we'll put that in the remote and click two, I think. We've got our anti-parasite plays lined up. We have the CVS ready, we have the magnet ready. Let's see if we can nuke a parasite here. We res the magnet for an additional card. I was going to keep it to try to s nail a parasite, but now his MU is full. And on top of that, I'll have to pay five cards to break everything here, which is a lot for him, unless he pays three into the Fairchild. I think this is good. Or he spends his whole David. Okay, maybe he's gonna play a parasite now. Now resources come down, perhaps. <laughs> All right, so what do we got? Archived. Uh, I'm not sure, maybe just clicking for money would be better there. That's a tell. Is that showing him that we have something in there? If I played on a turn where we didn't have an install otherwise, I might have been better. Hope he doesn't run this turn anyway, and then we can get our Vitruvius token to fetch the food we need it. Coming after my fair child. So we could have reserved the magnet and res on the way in. But we already get the CVS purge, which is pretty good on itself. I think we're gonna over advance here. We're not gonna get our HP dollar that turn, but we are gonna be able to fetch a card that we need. That's a good hit. And that will keep him from running the archives for a bit too. Three clicks out of him. The whole turn just evaporates, right? He had such big plans for his turn and now it's nothing. So he has to dig pretty hard to get anything. I think it's time to jam. He's down to three cards, so he's only going to have five this turn. Doesn't currently have a way for this turn. But there's a good chance he's able to have David after his um, after his levy. Maybe he only has one David though, since it's now going to cost him. Feeling pretty good about this. The fact that we saved our Fairchild three, which is our favorite ice uh, in the deck. 
Got some pretty badass art on him. He's going to come after this. Fair to him. So we can tax him. Might as well. I don't think he's got a second levy, so we just burn all his cards. Oh boy, what's the bid here? I need to die for this because it's one of those big sides. The die says two, but this is a very obvious play. Oh well, we picked it. Yep, the die has betrayed me. Well, that's a problem. Now we lose our entire remote. Let's get that Caprice again. Oh boy. Now he can easily beat us in R&D with one run. So this is a concern. So do we... Try to run on his deck out of cards. Oh, that's too bad. Hmm. Oh, that's a pretty good draw. Doesn't feel good, does it? He's gonna be able to kill our Fairchild. If we hadn't lost our Jackson, he could do something. But now we need to fetch the food for sure. We could play that our Ichi to tax him. Three and 15 left. Feels bad. So we protect R and D. We click for a credit. Oh, it doesn't feel good. But I think just letting him medium is even worse. So we should have played, got greedy, and tried to get the medium to or the magnet to stop the parasite. Oh, that's pretty good. Now we can't res our fair child here. Just want to get eaten. He had two spoons, so like our abundance of code gates is fodder for this. Maybe we should have purged, he would have only seen one card. Then he has just got four clicks to draw up, right? Mm, I don't know. We can get our Jacks note and shuffle back the food, for example, which helps Entity a little bit, but I don't think it's going to get there. He can just do the same thing again. We're not even making any money. So he gets three fresh. Ah, 
draw. There's no way we're going to win this game. Unless there's somehow nothing in our R&D. Because if we just stall, we, we just lose time. It doesn't get any better for us. we got to just jam this food and hope that it works. I should maybe have jammed it last turn. We would have had to bid 0 or 1 in Caprice because it would not have enough money otherwise. But that would have been preferable, I think, to what, what the situation we're in now. See, so yeah, I think we should just jam this last last turn. Been bidding zero or one on the Caprice. Still a half chance to win, which is now I think we've got much worse than half chance, where he just destroys our entire um, R&D server. So now if we had fetched the, if we hadn't lost to Jackson, we could have fetched the CVS and saved our ice again, which might have helped us. Yeah, he just wins. Okay, so I think we should have played last turn and taken our chances on the food with the Caprice bid. Because medium, just too strong. Destroyed all our ice with the classic wizard Faust shenanigans. Could have capriced R and D, but then we have almost no way to win in the remote because we need a better caprice over here. So yeah, I think we just weren't really fast enough. And this trash was bad for us too. 